The church deacon says his pastor stole his wife. He lusted after her. He says the pastor controlled his life for years, forcing him to sleep in his basement. The pastor denies it. He has harsh words for the retired deacon. A fellow who would allow an outsider to send him to the basement would be a wimp. Thy deacon's wife. Hello, everyone. I'm Ari Povich. Welcome to A Current Affair. The First Baptist Church in Hammond, Indiana is a multi-million dollar operation. The Hammond, Indiana Church boasts of having the largest congregation in the country. One thing they're not proud of, however, is the battle between their pastor and one of the parishioners. Our John Johnston tells us the pastor is accused of having an affair with the church member's wife and keeping the same man locked away in the basement, praying for an end to all the sins he saw around him. The man who used to live here says his American dream turned into a 12-year nightmare. Victor Nishik, a one-time faithful probably. follower of the First Baptist Church in Indiana, claims his pastor banished him to the basement so the pastor could make whoopee with his wife. He drew close to me to keep an eye on me and to work on me to accept this arrangement. He worked, you know, she was, he lusted after her, mind, body, or soul, or whatever, before he drew close to me. A fellow who would allow an outsider to send him to the basement would be a wimp. Pastor Jack Hiles not only calls Victor Nishik a wimp, but a womanizer. I never one time made any suggestion concerning his living conditions. All of that was because his wife was going to divorce him because it asked his secretary to run off with him. On another case, occasion, his wife found him in a bedroom around midnight with a beautiful girl in his bedroom and Mr. Nischik had his pajamas on. It's a fabrication. There's no truth to it. If I, if I had somebody to run off, I would have run off with that somebody. I would have been glad there would have been a way to escape. After 12 years of being banished to the basement, Victor Nishik went to the Reverend Jack Hiles and told him, I can't take it anymore. He says Hiles was good enough to build him his own separate bedroom there up over the garage, but still kept him apart from his family. Nishik claims Hiles My not only controlled his whatever. wife, but every aspect of their lives. It was down to the minute and the hour when I would come and go and when she would come and go. And it all worked into our responsibilities at the church so that people would not question why these two were never together. Mrs. Nistrick is a member of my staff and has been for over 25 years, a faithful, loyal member of our staff. I am her pastor, her employer, and her friend. And that's all. Nothing more. Nothing more. Is there or has there been? Mrs. Nistrick is one of the most proper women you'll ever meet in your life. And it's tragic for an innocent woman to be scandalized by a womanizer. Jeannie Nishik would not meet with us, but did sign these letters for Pastor Hiles, supporting what he said. My accusation is of tampering with my home from stealing my wife's affection and total, complete mind control. And I was controlling our lives to the nth degree. This was the extent of my accusation. But I will not go insofar as sexual because I never caught him in bed together. Despite saying that, Nisha claims Hiles offered to swap wives. He said, if you want her for the same relationship I had with Jenny, you have my permission. And I told him that he had, you know, I told him that he was sick. He was a sick person. I could not tell you how I felt when he dared to say that my wife would even consider such a thing. My wife is a clean, moral lady in the strictest sense of the word. And Mr. Nischik was just telling a bold-faced prevarication and lie when he said that. Hiles has been pastor at the First Baptist Church for almost 30 years. He claims to have a congregation nationwide of more than 65,000. The church itself looks like a corporation, fully equipped with a department store-sized parking lot. About 7,000 of Hiles' followers pack his church here in Hammond, Indiana, faithfully every Sunday. Victor Nishik calls the congregation a cult. It's another allegation that Hiles flatly denies. Many of us see symptoms of a Jimmy Jones situation being repeated. And I'm not kidding you. Realistically. Realistically. 
he has stated publicly if he called and said staff drive up on the uh, skyway bridge and jump into the river they would all do it i've given my life here for 30 years they love me i love them but i'm not god and this is not a cult and i'm not a cult leader I'm a pastor of a new testament baptist church that loves his people and wants to help them but Nishik is convinced he was brainwashed into being a believer for 14 years. Do you look back on this now and feel foolish at all? No, I don't feel like a fool at all. In fact, I feel very strongly that I did the right thing. Because leaving, and this, this I, I believe very strongly now, is leaving would have tossed my children into a meat grinder. There are some who would probably watch this story and say, how could you allow this to go on for so long? I was totally committed to the ministry. I would not dare compromise it. I have men in this church now that tell me that they would willingly give up their wives for this ministry if, if it meant, you know, to propagate and to make it more successful. I felt I was doing God a favor. I've had one woman in my life, John, one woman in my life that's the mother of my children. And after 62 years of working for integrity and character, to have a shadow cast over it, it hurts just like it hurts you. We can add one fact in this story. Victor Nishik and his wife, Jeannie, are now divorced. They live separately.